Here is how to make this simple slip dress. It's the perfect pairing to our pillowcase dress tutorial for little girls. And it's really just the same process, but we've added pockets and tiers to the bottom for extra detail. And we're going to use a little bit different measurements. The fabric that I used was actually from a linen sheet that I found at the thrift store. So get creative when finding your fabric. Below you will find the free pattern for this tutorial. It has the armhole and the pocket included and a step-by-step -step guide in case you prefer to see photos and written instructions. First we want to measure how big we want the bodice pieces to be and we can do this by measuring across your bust and multiply this by 2. Example, if it was 17 inches across, multiply it by 2 to equal 34 inches. Next, write down the measurement of shoulder to ankle. You can add four inches to this measurement for the tiers if you choose to add them. Next, measure your chest width. So ideally, this would be the width from one bra strap to the other. And first, you wanna cut your large rectangle pieces and this will be your bust measurement that you wrote down by the length measurement. Next, cut two rectangles measuring your chest width by two inches. So for example, if it was 10 inches, you would do a 10 by two rectangle. Now on the bias, which means cutting across where the selvage edge is on your fabric, you can cut two strips measuring 24 inches by two inches. Next, take your armhole pattern and line it up to the top of your dress. So you want to fold each rectangle in half, hot dog style, so that means the long way, and add the armhole to the top of this so that you're cutting out the armhole on both the front and the back bodice piece. Now cut out your pocket pieces four times. Now that you have your pieces measured, grab your front bodice piece and see at the top between the armholes this is where you want to add your gather stitches. So put it under your presser foot on your sewing machine and lengthen the stitch length to as high as it will go and stitch all the way across. You can see a detailed video on how to do a gather stitch linked below. Continue this for the back bodice piece as well and gather the stitches together as close as possible. And then you're going to lay out your placket piece in front of you and iron on interfacing. This will make it a little bit easier to just keep that structure of your dress. Right sides together, you can meet the middle of the placket piece to the bodice and pin this in place. Move the gathers around until the gathered section is as wide as the placket piece. Pin this in place and sew at half an inch seam allowance. Repeat this for the back bodice piece. The front and the back of this pattern are exactly the same, so everything that you do for the front, you're gonna do for the back as well. Now fold over the placket and iron towards the back and stitch across to secure in place.
Lay out your dress in front of you and measure from the bottom of the armhole. This is where you're going to pin your pocket in place. Make sure the right sides are together and sew the pockets to the side seams. Do this for both the front bodice and the back. You will have four pocket pieces that you're sewing to the front and the back. Once you've sewn it right sides together, open the pocket outwards and sew a stitch down the pocket and this is just going to keep it flat when you are wearing the dress. Now right sides together, pin the entire dress together along the side seams around the pocket and sew at half an inch. For the pleats or tiers at the bottom, measure 35 to 38 inches from the top of the dress. Mark this measurement and fold the bottom of the dress to this marked spot. When you use chalk, you can draw a straight line across the dress and this will show you where you want to fold the dress upwards. Use a ruler to mark at 2 inches. Top stitch around this marked spot and iron in place. You're going to repeat this for the second pleat. Next, you want to hem the bottom of the dress by an inch. Now grab your straps, which are the long bias pieces that you cut earlier, and fold them in thirds and iron. Now find the middle of the strap and the armpit of the dress and pin right sides facing the other starting at the seam under the armpit. Pin the bias tape along the armhole. Continue along the armhole and continuing to finish on the side seam. Alternatively, you can make ties and for this you would pin the middle part of the strap to the seam on the armhole. Sew at a quarter of an inch along the strap with the right sides facing together.
iron the bias tape closed and stitch along the strap to enclose the seams. Now you have the perfect summer breezy dress to just throw on when it is so warm outside. This can transition to fall when you throw a sweater over top and I think it is a perfect piece to just practice sewing on and one that you'll wear time and time again. If you're ready to make the mini version of this dress, check out this next video.